subscribers. Welcome to my uh, very first, actually, pay-per-view predictions video. Um, I have been willing to do these like a lot of times, but I just really didn't feel like it. So I just did reviews. I did a review of SummerSlam and WrestleMania. Those are the only two videos I have. But I'm going to be doing reviews and predictions from now on for every pay-per-view. Because I order every pay-per-view. Um, but this one we're talking about Payback. So let's get into it with the first matchup. Uh, payback kickoff. I am on WWE.com, by the way. Payback kickoff. Uh, Mountain Dew Kickstart. That's what it's presented by. Um... El Torito versus Hornswoggle in a match versus hair match. Uh, I think that El Torito is going to win. I don't really care for this match because the WLC match at Extreme Rules, I didn't really care for. Uh, I watched it, but I didn't really like it. I was like, this is a waste of time. We could have had a better match on the card. Same here, we could have had a better match uh, on the card here for Payback instead of this, but... This is what we're getting, so, um, I want to see Hornswoggle win because, uh, I think the storyline would be best. It wouldn't, it wouldn't really matter if this, if, uh, Hornswoggle's hair got cut off, but I think it would be best if El Torito got his mask taken off, so then we can see what he looks like under the mask, because that's what I always do whenever they have these type of matches. I want to see what the, pre what the person looks like under the mask, so, I want Hornswoggle to win, but I'm going to go for El Torito because I... I don't think they're going to have a mask him, so... Yeah, El Torito. Uh, next matchup is... Alexander Rusev versus Big E Langston. Now, same goes for here. I'm not excited for this match either. Uh, they didn't really hype it up as well as they could have. They just made, like, whenever time uh, Rusev would uh, keep the accolade going and wouldn't stop, Big E Langston would come, like, rushing out like he did with Hawkshot and Duggan, like, attacking him. And uh, what he did for the Zack Ryder match, but I'm not looking forward to this match. But uh, I think that Rusev is going to win because Biggie Langston has been here longer, and I think Rusev could be really great for the company, and he could become a good champion one day. And he's he's a big guy, and uh, yeah, I'm going for Alexander Rusev. And no, not just because she's with Lana. I don't really find Lana that attractive. I don't know what people see in her. But anyways, um, next matchup. I am in my parents' room because that's where the computer is. But anyways, um, next matchup, DOS Championship match, Paige versus Alyssa Fox. Now, I'm actually quite, like, I'm not excited, but I actually want to see this match because um, I want to see if they're going to put up, a uh, build up Alicia Fox as the DOS Champion. I would like to see Paige win. Uh, myself, because I think Paige uh, should have a longer run with the Divas title. Like, sort of like AJ's run, but then, like, AJ comes back. Maybe in Chicago, like, since it's in Chicago, she, and she's marrying Sam Punk, I think she's living in Chicago, too, with him. So, like, she could come back, and, like, they could have, like, a big feud, and then they could bring it on to the next pay-per-view. And, yeah, so, Alicia Fox, if she loses, she'll probably have another tirade, which will be really interesting because when she does that just she's just looking like a fool to herself and people think she's a fool but I'm going for Paige to retain so yeah next match Sheamus versus Cesaro I'm not really pumped up for this match I don't think Sheamus is a really great United States champion they should have put it on someone else I think like I don't know Someone who would benefit from it. Sheamus doesn't really benefit to the title because he's had a, a lot of title runs. Cesaro, he's never had a title run, so I think that he could benefit from uh, the United States Championship. But I'm going to go with uh, Sheamus to retain, even though I just said what I said. But, uh, yeah, Sheamus is going to retain because I don't think they're going to rip the title just away from him as soon as he gets it. So, yeah. Uh, and plus, we don't have to hear Paul Heyman running his mouth about how his client brought us to conquer the streak, and his other client is the United States champion. So, Sheamus for the win there. Next match is uh, Intercontinental Championship match. Bad News Barrett taking on Rob Van Dam. I'm going to go with Bad News Barrett. Bad News Barrett's character is awesome. I really want to see Bad News Barrett have a long title run. Uh... 
because I think that Wade Barrett's really a good talent, and he's entertaining with the bad news all the time. And uh, Ravi and Dam, he's just been in here for a long time, and uh, yeah. So I don't think he would really benefit from winning another title. I think Bad News Bear should keep it. So I'm going with Bad News Bear. I'm afraid I've got some bad news, Rob Van Dam. That was bad, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways. Uh, next match, next match. Which one is the next? Okay, I guess I have to do the two biggest matches. No, wait, okay. I'm forgetting about this moment, but I'll just do the two biggest matches. Next, John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Now. This match I cannot wait for. One of the matches that one of the reasons why I'm tuning into Payback uh, tomorrow night is because this uh, feud has been going on for a well over a month, I think. So I, this match would be really, really, really good. I cannot wait for this match. Their steel cage match I did not like because John Cena lost. I loved the WrestleMania match. Uh, really entertaining, but. Extreme rules match. It was good, but like, come on, a kid, and I just didn't think that was the way they should have ended that match. But um, I'm going for John Cena because he is my favorite, and I don't like Bray Wyatt. I'm one of the people who don't believe in Bray Wyatt, and don't, and I don't believe that he has a whole world world in his hands. John Cena, he's always going to be my favorite. That's never going to change. I don't care if he's heel face anything. Five moves of doom. I don't know what people call that. It's just the way he's been going for years. So, yeah, John Cena to win the last man standing match. We all know Eric Rowan and Luke Harper, but the Usos could interfere and help John Cena. But I'm going with John Cena for the win there. And next match, no holds barred elimination. The Shield versus Evolution. I cannot wait for this match. Also, uh, I said, well, I didn't do it uh, in predictions, but in, at Extreme Rules, I wanted Evolution to win. That didn't happen. But now I'm pulling for the Shield because I think that the Shield uh, really needs another victory over Evolution to prove that they are the best trio. But actually, I don't see this the way going. I see that, um, yes, someone is going to get eliminated, but I think that Randy Orton's going to be the first one eliminated from Evolution. And it's going to be Batista, and, uh, and Roman Reigns will try to do a spear on Batista, but he, Batista will move out of the way, and then he'll nail uh, Dean Ambrose. And then Dean Ambrose will say will uh, attack Roman Reigns, and then uh, and then Seth Rollins will try to break him up, but then uh, Roman Reigns will knock out Seth Rollins, and then the Shield will be all like loosey-goosey, and then uh, Evolution will pick up the victory, and then that will lead to a Shield breakup. That's what I think. Uh, that's why I like to see the Shield break up. I, I like the Shield, but I think that uh, Roman Reigns could be a great singles competitor. Same with Dean Ambrose. Seth Rollins could be a great uh, type of high flyer like Mysterio and Sin Cara. Could really benefit from that stuff. And, uh, last moment. It's not on here, so, um, I'll just have to, uh, let you see. I'll vote, uh, which my favorite payback match are you most excited to watch while I'm doing this. Okay, so, uh, the moment is, uh, Stephanie McMahon will, uh, make Daniel Bryan choose to either have, uh, his titles kept with him, or he could relinquish his title and keep, uh, Brie Bella's job. I think the way that this is going to go is, hey, I'm most excited for John Cena versus Bray Wyatt. Go, but um, the way I see this is going to go, oh, the show versus Evolution is winning. No surprise there. But the way I see that this is going to go is, um, Daniel Bryan's going to, uh, see, I don't know what he's going to choose. I would like for him to choose to relinquish the titles because I really like Brie Bella and I really think that she needs to stay in here for a long time period of time, but I think that as soon as Daniel Bryan's going to make his decision, all you hear, CM Punk's music in Chicago, coming down the ring, fans are going wild, whoa, CM Punk, CM Punk, and then CM Punk attacks Daniel Bryan, and then Brie Bell comes out here, and then, and then, uh, to save her boyfriend, but then, um, uh, but then, damn it, um, sorry, but, okay, um, I do think that Sam Punk will come back here tonight, um, uh, tomorrow night in Chicago, and he will be the new champion. Stephen McMahon will say, and your new uh, WWE champion is CM Punk. So, like, not even give him a choice at all. Like, that's what I think. I really want to see CM Punk back. I know people are like, oh, why are people saying you want CM Punk back? He's not even that good. I think he's really good. He's one of my favorites. 
But uh, I'd like to see him come back in his hometown of Chicago and kick Daniel Bryan's ass. So, uh, yeah, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all later. Peace.